Well, that's a fun milestone, a little scary. Uh, a mast. It's actually pretty significant looking. Difference. I'm going to go ahead and run a couple of screws in and that that'll let, us, let me test it and if it seems to fit the mast uh, we'll go ahead and finish gluing it up and committing on the shape of this thing. I did a little bit of cleanup on this, remove this angle here, and then uh, angles all along the, <clears throat> the under edges. And the reason for that is to make sure of accessibility to these drain channels all the way along, and also put uh, drain holes into this chamber here. This forward chamber is going to drain okay as is because of that cut off and then to get max, max strength we're going to glue these guys in <laughs> certainly it is not pretty but uh, puttied in the gaps filled in those pieces in there so that, that will be a solid joint with the mass step brace contact with the keelson contact up here to R1. Even though that's going to be under tremendous force, especially forwards on the mast, pushing back here and side to side, I think that's going to be okay. All right, so uh, masthead hardware is this replacement axle, and then uh, that's what I've done before. It seems to work okay. Wasteful. I've thrown away this bracket. It's got a nice nylon bearing. Replaced that with stainless steel and a lock nut through the masthead. Do. Clean it up a little bit, get some uh, urethane <clears throat> to harden up that wood a little bit. And I think maybe a little bit deeper countersink to get that bolt completely buried. Hi. Say hi, yeah. Should we go to the shop? <sighs> well, it's winter time, so you don't really want the fan on, but for you, Turn it on just for a minute, okay? All right, go ahead and turn it on. Oh, there it is. It hasn't run since many months. He's holding in the box. We are preparing for maybe the last big epoxy here, which is installing this. Some epoxy around uh, the mast hole through our one thwart. Some epoxy inside the halyard block area to harden that wood up. And I'm decided I think I'm going to put a strengthening 6 ounce glass area here where the, the gaff 
contacts this mast. There's a lot of stress between the mast head. Alright, hopefully the last significant epoxy work. A little baggy run. Start uh, winding down the project, I think, including putting away and labeling our old paper patterns. Sand this epoxy, which came out real nice. Two coats have buried the weave. I'm going to go over it with the finish sander and try to get some of those tiny scratches smoothed out a bit so that the urethane coat looks a little nicer. see should have put my debris shield back up but <clears throat> I think this is still an improvement another coat on these guys it was really pretty rough so we are coming mighty close to the end of this rig and see how it sails and, uh, there's a lot of unknowns Beautiful Sunday morning, cold. I think I was able to keep the shop warm enough to get this uh, urethane round and complete. And uh, came out and checked on that earlier this morning, verified the drain channels are free by pouring a little water in there for it of R1. And it does flow past the mass step. Got the uh, floors in place. Really happy with how all this looks. One more urethane on here, but it looks good. Can't even see this area where I laid in the extra six ounce cloth where the gaff will be contacting this. I'm gonna protect the interior of these holes I've been using as best I can I do. Put it back in coated with urethane. Step on to rigging. What I did with Brian and Kim's boat doesn't sound very aesthetic, but I think I really liked how it worked. And you can kind of clean these up. It's made sleeves out of this PVC for the attach points running up the mast. So there's one at the boom, two up the uh, luff, and then one where the, the gaff comes in. And they fit into these jaws. Kim and Brian's are four inches, I think. I'm going to try to make them a little bit bigger. I remember one time it was 
There's enough slop up there high on the mast where it's small for it to catch just a little bit. I'm going to drill some holes for lashing these guys to the eyelet on the sail. Uh, the two center ones I've made five inches tall. The ones that go with the boom and the gaff I've made six inches. I can try to make sure they sit underneath the jaws and not rub, let the jaws rub on the mast. So we got a, an eyelet for the sail sitting here. We're going to take a couple of turns of small line through two holes five eighths inches apart on the center line. These two will make off center. Uh, I noticed on Brian and Kim's boat, it takes a little bit of tricky work to get these guys to sit under the boom and uh, make sure that the jaws ride somewhere on this PVC and can also flex up when it when the mast butt is going through. And that's what I'm looking for. You don't want enough play in there for it to possibly get jammed. Trying to get the sail down, that's always a bad thing. I think that's really good. <laughs> 